say about Mike Rose that he had the type of season he had last season. He's willing to, I guess, kind of bounce around like you guys have asked him to. Well, I think one, I, yeah, I mean, obviously uh, credible, but I, I think he had the good teachers and some guys around here that have done that before. And, and you know, um, I think that's the first thing. The second thing is he's very talented, can play any of those spots. So that's the, you know, the real the reality of it is he can play all three of those positions at a really high level. And he's a selfless guy. And you know, that's kind of how this whole thing has changed in, in, you know, in our building over there. When did you realize, like, okay, that would be a, a good idea or a good option, viable to oh, make I don't sure know. you could I get? think we were just rolling guys in and out. And I think the reality of it is, is you know, I think a few years ago uh, when we moved Willie from Will to, to Sam, you know, was because really of, you know, A, again, Willie was talented, could do that. And, you know, Marcel came along and almost forced you to. And Orion Vance has played tremendous for us in, in camp. And that's when you start realizing, like, wow, you know, you're trying to get your three veteran guys that have played a lot of football on the field, and that's what we tried to do. And so we were able to do that. But OB's played, you know, really good football for us at Mike Linebacker, or it wouldn't have really been a thought. So, um, you know, we're trying to constantly get our best 11 guys on out there on defense, and that allowed us to do that. You're going, you're going from a get out and go quarterback, Northern Iowa head, Matt Mulvain, to Stanley, who's more of a pocket guy. What, right. What's different would that be for you guys? Um, it is different, you know, and, and I think, you know, we had some unknowns even last week of, of how much get out and go. Um, had a, you know, pretty good idea. Uh, but I, I think, you know, Stanley's a tremendous quarterback. I mean, we've seen him since we've been here and uh, really a smart player, uh, you know, just a big bodied guy that can throw every throw, you know, and it doesn't matter where he's at on the field, he can make every throw. Uh, really smart, uh, helps their team makes a lot of the other people around them better. And that's what you ask of the quarterback. So, you know, we got our work cut out for him. He's a different kind of quarterback, but, you know, he's elite. At center, they've got a new guy, a freshman, Tyler Linderbaum. How does he look on film? Uh, he's playing really well. They're, they're, they're not missing many beats in there. He's really a good player. And they lost a guy there that was really tremendous. And, um, you know, he's, he's playing like crazy. Uh, can really run, very athletic, very fast, and fits right into what they're doing. They don't run a lot of like RPO or anything, but it seems like they use the run to then set up that play action and bring your quarters Well, up. you know, I still remember, I told our guys, I, I can still remember back in 1988 when I think Coach Fry was there and, you know, Coach Schimbecker used to always say they have a run that looks like a pass and a pass that looks like a run. And, and it hasn't changed that. It, it's still the same. Every run looks like a pass and every pass looks like a run. And um, they're very good at what they do. Considering their inside zone and the effectiveness of it, how important is what Ray does along the line of scrimmage to neutralize? Ray's that? always important. What he does up there, he's, he's the center of the defense, and, and obviously playing over the center um, becomes really important. And um, you know, our, our seniors, and I, and I say this all the time, our seniors, Ray, Marcel, um, you know, Jaquan, all our seniors have to play the best football they've ever played as a senior, and they're going to have to play better than they did last week. They'll have to play this week, and. You know, we just expect our, our seniors to play the best football they've ever played, and he's one of those guys that has to do that for us. What does getting Braxton back do for you guys? Um, it, it'll be helpful. It gives us some depth, you know, and, and we're still kind of working through that whole process. Um, you know, where he is, uh, how far along I think it'll be game day, really, to see what's going on there. And uh, But again, if you're talking about a veteran player that's played a lot of reps for us in a lot of big games, and, you know, uh, if we could get him back, it would certainly help us with depth for sure. How does their wideout group look different maybe than it did a couple years ago? Just the depth. Yeah, there. I think they're really talented, you know, and they've kind of grown up through the process. You know, you, you see them from years past, and, and and now they're out there making plays, and, and they're they're difference makers. You know, they're, they're skilled on the outside. They make catches. Uh, they win 50-50 balls, and uh, you know, you, you just have to play great great defense and try to keep them off you know off balance a little bit. But uh, they're tremendous players. Not really that good. Not that they won't use their tight end, but is that the biggest difference in defending this year is maybe the receivers versus tight ends? Well, I mean, you lost two guys that went to the NFL. I mean, you know, you got to be real. I mean, those two guys were incredible. They're still using their tight ends. They're still doing the same things. They're still creating mismatches on people. They're still, um, you know, blocking with them. They're still doing the same things. It hasn't changed. Um, you know, I think obviously you have to be real realistic. Those two guys were. Draft choices taken. So, uh, 
you know, I think that's part of it, in fairness to, the, to those guys that are playing tight end now. But they, they, they're doing the same things. They use them. They can catch. They can run. They can block. Um, you know, I don't feel bad for them having to play. I mean, <laughs> they're, they're pretty talented.